Listen. Do you recognize this sound? Hi, I'm Mike Sokol from Live Sound Co. And welcome to Live Sound Advice. In this episode, I'm going to answer a question about monitor wedges. Specifically, when you hook a bunch of speakers together on stage, are they connected in series or parallel? Glad you asked. But first, let's take a look at a few diagrams to show the difference between series and parallel speaker connections. Speakers in series have their plus terminal connected to the negative terminal of the speaker beside them. You calculate the load by adding all the values together. So if you hook four 8-ohm speakers in series, it will add up to a 32-ohm load. That's because 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 equals 32 ohms. That's not so good because your amp will only be able to deliver about one quarter of its rated power at 8 ohms. So a 1,000 watt amp would be reduced to 250 watts with a 32 ohm speaker load. Now, let's hook these speakers up in parallel. To find the total load of speakers with the same impedance in parallel, it's as simple as dividing the value of one speaker by the total number of speakers. So if you hook up two 8-ohm speakers in parallel, that's a 4-ohm load because 8 divided by 2 equals 4 ohms. Three speakers is a 2.6-ohm load, and four speakers in parallel creates a 2-ohm load. Now, back to your question. Are monitor wedges hooked up in series or parallel? Even though it looks like the jack plate is connecting them in series, they're actually in parallel since you're hooking all the speakers across the same hot and ground wires. But is this a good thing? Well, most power amps are rated down to 2 ohms. If you're driving it hard, the amp can overheat and shut down. Better to not go below a 4 ohm load if you can avoid it. That suggests that you should hook up no more than two or possibly three 8 ohm wedges on the same amp channel. Don't worry about balancing the loads on both sides of the amplifier. It just won't care. Pro sound engineers try to avoid loading their power amps below 4 ohms if possible since that makes them last longer. And a good amp running at 4 ohms or higher should be able to run for decades with minimal maintenance. But more on amplifier selection and maintenance in future videos. I'm Mike Sokol, and thanks for watching Live Sound Bites. And thanks to our sponsors for their support. See you next time. Now speaking of sounds, let us be precise and give you some sound advice.